Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Morgan, this is my channel Pisces Paperbacks, and my room's a mess because my life's a mess. You might have noticed that this has been the setup for a lot of my videos lately, and that's because I had my nice lights up and like standing in my room for literally months, and they were really in the way, so I was like, you know what, I'll take them down, and I'll just take them out every time I film, but that's so much work, so I just haven't been doing that, and this is just what you're getting right now. But, on the other hand, I got this Harry Styles sweatshirt in the mail today. This is very cute. It's a little, a little blown out, but it's for the golden music video, and I'm obsessed with it. I'm really happy that I got the right size, so it's a large, because last time I ordered something from his website, I didn't see the spot to change the size, and then I accidentally got a small t-shirt, so it's a, little, it's a little snug. I'm also glad I got it because my other Harry Styles sweatshirt that I have is like the pink one from his first tour, and I like to wear it when I'm sad, so there's spaghetti sauce on it. <laughs> Today I want to talk about five more 2021 releases that I'm really excited about. I put a video out in November with I think 14, 14 or 15 2021 releases, but I've just since discovered more and there's a couple on this list that I haven't heard anyone talk about and I really feel that they deserve attention. So that's what I'm gonna do, that's what we're gonna do, and let's get started. I'm also not going in chronological order, I'm going just in the order that I brought them up on my computer, except this first one is the one that like really inspired me to make this video because I want to talk about it and I literally have not heard anyone mention it. I don't even know where I found out about it. So it's called Eat Your Heart Out by Kelly DeVos and it is a YA horror comedy. So it is about Vivian Ellen Shaw. She's fat, she knows it, and she knows she has nothing to change about herself. She's perfectly fine the way she is, but she's being kind of forced to go to a weight loss camp with her ex-best friend. They get there and things are even worse than they expected because the camp is overrun by zombies. So it's kind of like the campers like banding together to survive this apocalypse and it just looks so fun and funny. It seems like it's really focusing on like body positivity and body acceptance but like against this backdrop of zombies. So the pitch is Shaun of the Dead meets Dumplin and I have not seen Dumplin but I love Shaun of the Dead and I'm just so excited. I love zombie comedies. Shaun of the Dead is like one of my faves. Zombieland, I love Zombieland. And I'm just so excited for this book. I'm like thinking about pre-ordering it. I really don't pre-order books because it's like the last book that I pre-ordered was The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes and everyone everyone knows how that turned out. I didn't, I haven't even read it yet. It's been like a year and a half. So I am just so excited about this and I wanted to talk about it because I think people I think people on the book internet would be really into this book because it just seems like it's right up everyone's alley. So that's the first one. The next book that I want to talk about is actually a high fantasy as I'm interested in, which I'm like, the thing is I'm interested in reading high fantasies in theory, but when it comes to like reality, I'm almost never like in the mood for them. But this one seems really promising to me and that is The Unbroken by C.L. Clark. I've heard some buzz about it lately, but I'm really, you know, I wanna add. So here we are talking about it again. I believe there's a female-female romance. I believe it's by a black author. Just a lot of things that are interesting along with the story, which is that is about Terrain, who was stolen as a child and conscripted into the army for the empire. Her really only loyalty is to her fellow soldiers, but her company has been sent back to her homeland and she's starting to realize her loyalties may not be what she thought they were. And then another woman, Luca, is looking for a turncoat to be kind of like a double agent as she focuses on her own personal endgame, which is getting her uncle off the throne. And then it's assassinations and massacres. They're going to develop this back and forth over the fate of a nation and it just looks really cool and it has a beautiful cover honestly the beautiful cover is kind of what really also drew me in because i've been really into like buff ladies lately like gideon the ninth is kind of like biceps and brains but like brains and then i recently read the ruthless lady's guide to wizardry and one of the main characters win she's like a big tall strong lady and i'm like hi so this cover also really added i think it's beautiful next is an indie pubbed book that i am so excited about and that is the companion by ee e. ottoman i found out about this book because the author tweeted about it last week doing a cover reveal first of all 
beautiful cover but in the tweet uh, the author pitches the book as a male female female romance so polyamorous romance with all trans protagonists it's set in the 1940s so it's like historical um and it's lovers to enemies to lovers which a lot of people enjoy i'm like kind of less on the enemies to lovers train but the fact that they like start out as lovers and then go to enemies and lovers i'm just like so excited and then trans and queer artists being domestic together so it just amazing pitch and the book on goodreads the description says that it is about madeline slaughter and she has really become exhausted after trying to break into the new york literary scene so when her friend offers her the chance to be a living companion to a reclusive best-selling novelist she jumps at the chance so the novelist is victor hollowell and he ends up being handsome and intensely passionate and then madeline also encounters victor's neighbor audrey who is mysterious and beautiful and i believe it is their romance and i'm so excited does that not sound incredible and then another romance i want to talk about is called neon gods by katie robert katie robert wrote a romance trilogy that i read last year that i really enjoyed which is the Thelanian dynasty series terrible name but the first book is called theirs for the night and it's a thruple situation again but this one is not a thruple situation and i'm kind of like eating my words because i tweeted not even a couple days ago that i'm not interested in hades and persephone retellings because they just like are never as good as the original or they're not as good as laura olympus and it's just they never are it's always like a weird convoluted setup to make the whole premise work as a retelling and it doesn't make any sense to me but i'm gonna eat my words because this is a hades and persephone retelling that for some reason the premise interests me and i think it's that i would be interested in the premise without the fact that they're all named after the gods so basically it's about society darling persephone in the ultra modern city of olympus and her mother blindsides her with an engagement to a man named Zeus obviously who has a couple of dead wives in his past and she's just like not having it so to escape this fate that she doesn't want she flees the city and makes a bargain with Hades and they kind of make a deal that she will be his for the summer and he will see her safely out of Olympus and away from Persephone's mother and Zeus and they kind of had this deal but like things get more real than they're expecting with their feelings and I'm just like really digging that as a concept I might read it we'll see <laughs> and then lastly the book I want to talk about is The Library of the Dead by T.L. Huchu so this looks amazing it's an urban fantasy set in edinburgh and it's about a girl named ropa who is investigating a missing child and she calls on her zimbabwean magic as well as her scottish pragmatism is what it says in the description to hunt down clues and it's just like i think i've really discovered i love like people who interact with ghosts because ghosts are like the most gothic of the paranormal creatures i think and i also really enjoyed the cassidy blake series so this looks to be like adult cassidy blake and by a zimbabwean author the main character ropa dropped out of school to become a ghost stalker and she speaks to the dead in edinburgh carrying messages to the living like it's just i'm so excited for this one i think it looks really good and it comes out on june 1st so lots of exciting things these are five more books this year that i am looking forward to reading if i get the chance fingers crossed and i'm just there's so many good things now that i've like tried sort of like paying attention to new releases there's just so many there's so many no wonder like half the books i read are like from the year that i'm reading in you know what i mean so many books so many books i read last year were 2019 or 2020 releases so many books this year are going to be 2020 or 2021 releases and it's just going to be so much fun and let me know if you're going to plan on reading any of these because I put you onto them. I think they all look really good, but this is also my list of anticipated releases. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!